Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto. Please make sure you do like this video and that you are subscribed to my channel. So today we will be doing a walkthrough talk through on how to use the basics of TradingView. TradingView can be used for any tradable asset, whether that be Forex, crypto, stocks or indexes. So this is the, the best place, in my opinion, to um, do your chat in work. So this is the homepage of the website. Once you have signed up, you will see your profile to the top right here. You will um, see all the information. You can change your settings, add a picture, and you can also link your Twitter to it and things like that. Also, if you um, prefer dark theme, you can change the dark theme or the, the standard um, white, which a lot of people use but i prefer mine in dark so i have mine set there so just running through quickly through some of these ideas this is what we see on my front this is other people's trading ideas um setups uh, whatever they think is going to happen then they do post them on their markets you can never break down if you're looking for a specific asset you can look through all of those scripts that is basically indicators and different trading styles uh, ignore those two and three um, what we're looking for is the chart section you may not see any of these set up currently because these are my favorites so what you need to do for example if you are looking um, to go into some charts we will take ethereum for example um, type in ethereum um, if i can spell it right yes sir, i have there so look for the ethereum usdt or any pairing click on that and it will then take you to this page what you need to do then really this is not the setup what you do is click here the full featured chart and that will take you to the actual um, chart that you have in place so this is the setup this is my ethereum chart and let's just run through all of the basics so this is my layout here to change your customizable settings click this cog up here to the top right and then you can change all different things so for example you want to change your background for a different color you could change it there uh, and that will give you a different color everything is customizable you can also have grids on there i mean it comes basically with grids um if you change that a second put the grids on and you can have whatever you want but i prefer the grids off it is all down to whatever you want you can pretty much change everything you see um, so everything there is on appearance also the symbols you can change the different colors of the candles um sorry that's down here candles there um but you can also change the symbols um yeah there you go that's a, the candles so if you click on um that you can change the color of the candles if you wish but if you don't then change it back um i prefer that color um i prefer mine just nice and simple you will see it with red and um white candles to start with but everything you need to do with the customizable settings are there so that is the um the appearance of it on the right hand side here click this this is your watch list everything you see down here is what is in my favorites yours will be blank currently so what you need to do if you want to have a look at a different chart we'll click the plus sign here and then for example we will type in bitcoin usdt btc sorry btc usdt and then you'll see all different options i recommend depending which platform you are trading on for example if you are trading on qcoin then use the qcoin chart just click that little plus there and that will add it to your watch list and that has just gone right down to the bottom there of my chart um so that is how you add assets to your watch list i do recommend that the assets that you are holding you set up a nice little watch list there because once you've got it saved uh, that is there for life and you can just pretty much go through each of your assets and all the ta that you do with technical analysis does stay on the chart going further down on the right hand side you can set alerts on different projects for example if you want to set an alert here right click uh, and then you will see all the information here so um, add an alert and for example a price alert if it comes down to a certain price where you're considering buying you can add that alert there and that will give you um, a nice little ping whenever you um, want it um, next we have the news this gives you all um, information about news to do with um, with crypto basically because i'm on the zillica chart here this will give me all the news to do with zillica moving further down we um, that is an option that you will not really need to use uh, is there any other options that i should make your way down here um, the alerts oh so this is um, notifications when somebody follows you um or anything happens that, to your account information will be there so this is um that's the right hand side taskbar scrolling further up let's just start on a um a completely blank canvas let's just go back down to that one we've added so this is btc usdt this is a blank canvas if you look to this little arrow here 
this is indicators that you can add so i've added emas so this is um the eight and the 20 uh, and that does give you different indicators i think on the free version you may only be allowed one indicator but i'm on a paid version so i can have up to five i believe um so if you're looking to add an indicator for example um this is indicator up top this is the rsi um so if you're looking for indicators click this section here um, and this will give you all the different favorite ones i've got my favorites here but if, for example if you're looking for rsi type in rsi uh, which is a relative strength index that will show there you click on it and it will just come onto your left hand side here and then you can maneuver it where you like that goes for the same as any indicators i do suggest if you're fairly new to um trading then do not over complicate it too much do not try to have too many indicators i just recommend you have a couple of emas have your rsi or for example you can even have a macd i think the macd is also a good training tool if you click that I've got too many indicators on, but let's get rid of the um, 200 there and we'll add the MACD on. Let's put the MACD. So we'll click on that and then it will add it to the bottom automatically. Um, it's not on that list because it's not required, but this is the MACD here. Also, you can um, edit these to your liking. So let's edit the MACD. If we double click on that, uh, and then it will click on styles and you can change any if you want so you can change it from columns um, but i will just keep it as that for now let's change it all to black um, we'll do that black all the way down i prefer having it black um, so that is the up section and then color two and color three is the down section so let's change that to red and that's red there too so that is the down section and then you can also change these lines here too so if you just change them to whichever color you want you, everything you see is pretty much customizable and you can set it up to exactly how you want so that is the indicator section there also if you are wondering about getting a split screen click this asset here you can also have a split screen so you can have two different assets in one place so i've got for example two charts there um all you have to do is double click one or click on the specific chart if you see that the outside of it highlights click on the outside of that and then click on a chart and it will change that section there so you can have multiple that if you um do have other premium um options i think the, the bigger paid versions you can have more charts but i'm um I'm on the pro version, you can currently have two there. Uh, so that is um how you can split screen and have multiple charts. Um what can we talk about next? So also on the left hand side you have, you have different indicators um and different tools. So this is the um the cursor. You can change a cursor to whatever you like, you can have it as a dot, you can change it to an arrow. It is pretty much very customizable. So I prefer mine on the cross. Next up we have the trend lines. Um this is the standard trend line this you can just use for any types of lines um once you click on it just click anywhere you want and and that does give you an option to um, put lines in for example if you were looking at a trend line you could say there was a trend down there and then we did break above it so that could um that could potentially give you some indications for what is happening all sorts of different tools down there different types of lines arrows if you want to put an arrow somewhere um like i say everything you can do is is fairly straightforward the next one is different types of fibonacci and um, i will do a separate lesson on fibonacci's at some point uh, next we have a brush you can do any type of shape on a brush if you want to put a for example i put lines on my charts but you can also have um squares like that just drag everything is pretty much drag and drop any shapes you want you can have circles there you go straightforward um, so that's pretty basic you can also add text to your chart personally i don't use any of these i just use this box here so if you put a box there this will automatically come up and you can put anything you want um bitcoin to the moon and, and it will come up and you can change all the font of that as you want um and you can put it where you want drag it around anywhere on the chart so that's the text different op other options as well you can put a box there if you want um you can write text in a box so there's all different types of options available scrolling further down this is different types of patterns uh, mainly elliott waves personally i do not do them um, i don't go that too much depth into trading next box down here this is this is quite a useful tool you can set up um for example if you've seen a price at this level and you think wow how much has that gone up in price click the price range here click it from the bottom of a specific let's go from that candle there from that candle 
up to the top drag and drop so that period does show you there that has done a 78% um, upward movement and the same does work if you are looking for a price decrease so if you can click on the same tool we'll go from top to bottom so for example we dropped from there we dropped down 33% so that tool can be used in both directions also we have a date range if you're looking for I don't know how many hours or days it takes to go from there to there that will show you a percentage in days um, so that's that tool and then this final tool which we'll talk through is different types of images there are lots on here click on it uh, you can also change the size double click on it change the color you can do pretty much what you want um, so that is pretty much all the tools down there also looking here you can also change the time frame so personally i only have used the daily and the weekly time frames because if you look at for example let's just get rid of that if you look at the um the daily time frame it looks completely different to the, the one minute time frame i'd never go down there because i think you'd end up committing suicide bloody looking at that and that is an emotional roller coaster looking at a minute chart but um, yeah you can change your time frames there you can also change the different types of candles that you use if you look at this option here. I just prefer candles, but you can have hollow candles, you can have high kanashi. There's all sorts of different options that you can have for candles. So that is going to do it for today's video. That is just a walkthrough, talk through of trading view, the basics of how to use it. Um, not too technical, just a, an overview. So if you do have any um, more in-depth technical questions that you do require um, a bit of answering, um, then do jump into my Telegram group, which is the Crypto Troops. You'll find the link in the pinned comment and the description. So that's going to do it for today's video. Um, please make sure you do like this video, that you are subscribed to this channel, and I'll catch you next time.